to facilitate learning is not simply to enumerate but to yerk the youngsters to take to educative activities and perk up with illuminating explanations can you make it go around go that around. means you have been able to use a drone now take it how does it go sir all the four propellers combined uh, to give thrust downwards which is greater than the gravitational what pull. do the propellers do explain these propellers what do these propellers do sir the propellers provide uh, a perpendicular downward thrust sir all the propellers are not uh, in the same direction two are anti clockwise and two are clockwise uh, they are uh, in the opposite direction so that they can oppose each other's inertia and so that the spinning or the yawing motion is been cancel out that means it remains stable it does not wobble around if the drone moves up how does it move up anyone can tell me there is something called newton third law of motion What is Newton third law of motion? Good morning, respected principal sir, and your teachers, and all my dear friends. My name is Tanisha Jain. I am studying class 10th, and I belong to Kaveri House. Sir, so Newton's third law of motion says that every action has got a reaction which is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. When the plane is lifted, there is a basic, what is known as aerodynamic pressure is used. That means when you move in the air, when you move in the air, for example, when you swim, what do we do? You know how to swim, Ankita? You don't know who who knows me. You know me. So when you say how do you keep up low? What happens? Sir, 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 we move our hands and legs in direct motion. So, so what? Continuously. Okay. When you move your legs and uh, hands specifically in a direction, how do you keep your body afloat? If you don't move, you sink. What happens? Yes. Good morning, Mr. Teacher, Principal Sir, Learning Teachers, and all my dear friends. My name is Nandini Patel. I am studying in Class 9th, and I belong to Kaveri House. So the swimmer cuts the water, like as the aeroplane cuts the air. See, the swimmer is making a way like this, okay? Yes. But how does he keep afloat? Suppose you don't do that, you will sink. How do you keep afloat? Yes. Last, before we try. Right. Yes, since you know swimming, if you want to try. Uh, sir, actually, what happens when the swimmer uh, beats his legs against the water? That gives the up thrust to the water. That uh, up thrust to the water. No, sir. The up thrust to the swimmer is that the force which is exerted by the swimmer on the water because of Newton's third law, the same force is exerted on the swimmer. Now, Ishita, can I explain how does? I asked you this question so that you should be able to explain what happens when a plane is being uplifted. Yes. When the swimmer swims, sir, it beats his legs against the water. So, sir, it gives the force to the water, and as per Newton's third law, an equivalent force is applied by water also, and this keeps him float. There are two things which happens. One is the water gives an upward thrust, right? That's called buoyancy. And that itself is not enough because specific gravity is more than one. Something happens like that when you move in the air. How does it happen? Thousands of tons of weight is lifted. And brought down. Okay, good. Give Ishita a very good hand. And Ishita will get a double OIA credit. Double OIA credit. Who is in charge now? Tushari ji. Yes, you should be able to name or not. Yes, and you are uh, what is his name? Ashul. Ashul will also get a double IP credit.